Alright guys, oh, there's my dog's toys, okay. I'm doing a quick loadout thing. I don't know what you guys want to call it. Um, by the way, this is OD, this is not black. Um, because of the light that's reflecting, you guys probably can't tell everything. So, I'm just going to go over it real quick. This is my loadout for now. I'm going to get a, these uh, everything in tan that you see that is an OD. Okay, so first we're going to start off with my gun that I have uh, done a review on. You guys should check it out. Really awesome. Good gun. Okay. I have uh, 10 E-Mags, although they're not all loaded right now. These are... Uh, okay, so... Sorry. I'm going back and forth. Okay. Gun with accessories. We've got a flashlight. Okay. Rail covers so I don't cut my hands or anything. Uh, what is this? Vertical grip. E-Mags. Uh, NC Star red dot and green dot and M bus flip up rear sights. All right, and so now you guys have an idea of what I'm using in a fight. Now I'm going to show you what I'd be wearing. Okay, obviously you're seeing. Okay, this is what I would be wearing more or less. Okay, this is what I'd be wearing. Okay, I'm currently wearing my Shamog. Okay, this is known as the Afghan uh, headdress. So. These are really nice for cold or hot weather, and I'm wearing a blue shirt, as you guys can see. Uh, I don't have, what do you call it, um, combat shirt. I'm going to get it on, though. So this, it, it'll get really hot. Um, you'll sweat all the way through this. So, um, so I'm just wearing three uh, color BDUs, though. Um, and then actually, it's Navy. It's a guy named Hamilton, whatever his name is. He was in the Navy, and I got his uh, stuff. So, I'm also wearing that. I would be wearing boots, but, you know, don't want to go all out. So, uh, I'm just wearing some shooting glasses that I got for uh, target shooting. Not, like, with airsoft guns, but with uh, my 22. And I'm working to get in a, like, a legit M4. And so now I'm going to go over my vest, okay? I wish I had it in tan. I honestly do. Whoops. But I don't. So now I'm going to sit down and scoot back quite a bit and go down, okay? Currently what I'm wearing is my uh, vest for whatever. I currently use it for what I call like neighborhood security, but really it's just an excuse to run around with a gun and uh, camo and stuff and see what people are doing. So, I don't know. It's legal. I checked. So, um, I'm wearing a small admin pouch with the American flag and a sign that, or like a patch that said regular guy. I thought that was pretty funny here. Regular guy. So, I thought that was pretty neat. Um, this is like a little flashlight thing, but I already have it on, mounted on my gun, so it could be like a, uh, uh, like a, a pistol mag pouch. And then, I, I had a radio pouch here, but it's in there, and it was snug, and I didn't really want it there. Uh, I didn't need it for the fight, so. Um, each of these would be holding two... E mags uh, full of 75 rounds. Um, I got those. Okay, this whole loadout, I don't know how much this costs, and I don't know how much pants cost, and the boots and stuff. And it also came with hat and stuff, but I don't know how much those cost. This entire uh, loadout that you're seeing here, by the way, some more mag pouches here, double stack, as I said. Then we've got a uh, dump pouch. Hey man, I'm in the middle of a video. Can I call you back? Okay, see ya. Bye. Okay, it's just a friend. Um, so I've got mag pouches all the way alongside. I've got a gel pouch here. Okay, really nice and convenient. Then I have here. We'll just do this. Then I have a uh, another dump pouch back here that I use for uh, storing stuff like extra mags if I have them. Um. So, on the left hand, oh, that's the, I already covered that. Right hand side here, I've got my uh, medical utility bag. Honestly, I need, I need firmer stuff in here. Or like a cardboard lining, because it, it just, it should be like that, real tight to it. And instead it's like droopy and stuff, but this just actually, it, it does hold medical supplies. I'm holding, uh, since I do go outside at night and stuff, I had a friend, uh, we ran, and he ran over a board with a nail sticking up. Went straight through his uh, shoe into his foot, and so I had to use my medical kit 
that I have in here that's real uh, nice and snug. I use shoelace and old sock and stuff it. It was just on the moment stuff. Uh, I've got binoculars. Uh, regular stuff, actually just medical stuff, what I'd need if uh, something happened and it was a long drive. So uh, I'm not trained to first aid. I don't really need to be. I've seen enough war movies. We're good to go. I've got Neos Foreign, Band-Aids, whatever. So that covers my kit. Um, really good. I got it from Airsoft GI. I got uh, the main portions. I didn't get this. Okay, I'll show you what I did get from Airsoft GI that came with it, okay? I got this that came with it, the uh, back dump pouch, these uh, first two mags, and uh, it comes with a hydration carrier, but mine hasn't come yet. Um, it's been back ordered for almost two or three months now. I'm still waiting on that, so I'm going to give them a call sometime. But because it's still out of stock, which is absolutely ridiculous. But um, this was 12 bucks. These each are uh, 12 bucks a piece for double stack, which holds four mags for M4. M4 only, okay? If you try putting a G36 mag in here, it will fit, but it'll only hold one, okay? AK mags are completely different styles, so you couldn't do that. Um, and then. Yeah, everything you see, though, essentially is come with that kit. It was $108 on Airsoft GI. Really good deal if you guys are just starting out. This is a Molly vest. Um, it's from OE Tech Cummerbund, whatever. Um, so a great vest. Get it. Uh, it's, it's, when you load it up, it'll get heavy. This currently probably only weighs like 10, 15 pounds. But when you get gear on it and stuff, I've only got a mag in each. So now we're going to cover down here. Okay. This is a OE Tech Universal holster, okay? And inside, I have my free gun that I got, okay? It doesn't have an orange tip. I don't know where the orange tip went. So, <clears throat> it's good not gas blowback, sadly. Although, oh shoot, is this loaded? It's loaded! Oh no! Don't do this at home. Okay. So it is loaded. I didn't know it was loaded. Always check to see if it's loaded, guys. So it's just a Smith and, Mess uh, Smith and Wesson uh, SNW or whatever. My cousin has a real version, so I have gotten to use it. Um, so I know what it actually feels like. This is pretty close. So that's pretty much my kit, other than the boots and the other stuff I'm going to be getting later. And I'll go ahead and list the stuff I'm getting later. I will be getting a new helmet, new vest, with new accessories. Instead of being closed top, where you have to use the Velcro, I'll be getting an open top. Um, what else? What else? New patches, new all. Oh, by the way, on the back it says MLD. Right up there. Here. Ah. It says MLD, Major League Door Kicker. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, so, yeah. That's essentially my loadout, guys. Um, if I wasted your time, I'm so sorry. But you know what? We've got time all wasting. So, um, I will have another loadout review uh, later. Uh, I've got a Spec House loadout that I just used for whenever I'm bored, which would be like uh, just jeans, dark t-shirt, this vest, and a hat, and a shemag. So, alright, sorry I guys bored you, um, and I will see you on the field, uh, hopefully, God willing, you know. Alright, see ya, bye.